Hello friends, this video on probability part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Let's take one more example. 12 defective pens are accidentally mixed with 132 good ones. It is not possible to just look at the pen and tell whether it is defective or not. One pen is taken out at random from this lot. Find the probability that the pen is good ones. So this is a pen actually. So there are 12 defective pen and 132 good pens. So in this lot of 132, this pen is mixed. Total we have 144 pens, but has both good and bad pens. Now from this lot, one pen is taken out. So we have to find the probability it is a good one. Very simple question. Probability of good is nothing but Again, favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome for good? 132. Why? Because there are 132 good, good pens. Total outcome is 144 because the total number of 144 pens. So this becomes 11 by 12. And this is my probability. This is the probability of good pen. If you take out one pen, then this is the probability that the pen is good is 11 by 12. A lot of 20 bulbs contains 5 defect and a bulb is drawn at random from this lot. What is the probability that the bulb is defective? So they are 4 defective and 16 good bulbs. There are 20 total bulbs. The total number of 20 bulbs out of that 4 defective and 16 good ones. Correct. And one bulb is taken out from this lot random. We have to find that the probability that the bulb is defective. Same formula, probability of defective is nothing but favorable outcome of defective by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome of defective? 4 because there are only 4 defective and total outcome is 20 because there are 20 bulbs. This becomes 1 by 5. So the probability of a defective bulb, you take out one bulb is 1 by 5. This is the now the second question says, suppose a ball is bulb is drawn and it is not defective and not replaced. So that means if the ball is drawn, one non-defective, this guy is drawn from here. So the new scenario, this is old scenario, the new scenario become 4 defective is still there plus 15 good. Why? Because one good is taken one. The one which is drawn is non-defective. So now we are left with 19 bulbs and that bulb is kept aside. It is not replaced. So now the new scenario is there are 19 bulbs out of which 4 are defective and 15 are not defective. Now one bulb is drawn at random from the rest. What is the probability that the bulb is not defective now? So now we have to find the probability of not defective. Here the same thing. Favorable outcome by total outcome. But again here we have to use this lot now because one ball is drawn, one bulb is drawn. Favorable outcome for not defective is 15 because there are 15 not defective one, 15 and total outcome is 19 because there are total 19 bulbs. Correct. So if we have 15 non defective and 19 total, so my ratio will be 15 by 19. So the probability of non defective in this case will be 15 by 19. This is the second case, second draw. So where the first draw was uh, a non-defective, so we got this second scenario. This is the new scenario and this is the old scenario. Please note in such case, when we are told that in that in a particular lot, one bulb or one item is drawn and it is not replaced, then please create a new scenario, a new lot. And then from on that lot, apply the probability form. A box contains 90 disks, which are the CD compact disks which are numbered 1 to 90. If one disc is drawn from this box, find the probability that it bears two digit number, it's perfect square number and the number is by 5. So this question you have to apply some brain here. The first thing is it bears two digit number. So if you see from 1 to 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, if you go on 13 till 90, 
number till 1 to 9 has one digit number and number from 10 to 90 has two digit number. Why I am doing this because the question is asking that the number should have two digit number. The probability that number has to have two digit number. So if you can say that one digit number count is how much? One digit number count is 1 to 9 that is there 9 1 digit number and 2 digit number count is how much from 10 to 90 that is uh, 90 minus 10 plus 1 that is 81 there are 81 numbers which are 2 digit number 3 digit number if you see are 0 actually 3 digit number 0 and 4 also 0 0 only these two numbers are there 1 and 2 digit number so you can ignore this also now I am to find the probability of two digit number. This is nothing but favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome for two digit number? 81. Why 81? Because there are 81 two digit number. And what is the total outcome? 90. Because there are total 90 numbers. Two digit and one digit if you combine they are 90. So answer is 81 by 90 if you uh, so all this becomes 9 by 10 and that is my answer for probability of two digit number in the list. first part is so the second is the probability that the number is perfect square so let me find first perfect squares number from 1 to 9 so perfect square number p square 1 is perfect square yes 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square 16, 5 square 25, 6 square 36, 7 square 49, 8 square 64, 9 square 81, 10 square 100. But 10 is not required because we need number less than 90 only. So these are the perfect square numbers. What is the count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 9 perfect square numbers. So right here, perfect square is known. And non-perfect square is how much? Obviously, 90 minus 9 because they are total 90 numbers. So we have 9 perfect squares and 81 non-perfect square. So here also same formula, probability of perfect square. It will be nothing but uh, favorable outcome by total outcome. So what is the favorable outcome here? Favorable is 81 because there are 8, sorry 9. Favorable is 9 because there are 9 perfect square numbers and total number of number is 90. So, 90. so this becomes 1 by 10. So 1 by 10 is my probability of perfect square. This problem is also solved. Now the question is probability of number divisible 5 by 5. So first let's find number divisible by 5 between 1 to 90. So 5 is one number, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. 95 also but 95 we can ignore because we need number only between 1 and 90. So these many numbers are multiple of 5. If you count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the count is 18. Correct? So let me write here uh, number div by 5 is equal to either 18 numbers and number not div by 5 is 90 minus 18 that is 72. So 72 numbers are not divisible by 5 between 1 and 19. 5 numbers are divisible by 5 between 1 and 90. So we have to find probability of number divisible by 5. So this become again here favorable outcome by total outcome. Same formula will apply. What is the favorable outcome here? They are I think uh, 10 numbers, no, 80 numbers, the 80 numbers, 18 are the numbers which are divisible by 5 by total number of outcome is 90, there are 90 number of series. So the answer comes out to be 1 by 5. So the probability of a number that is divisible by 5 is 1 by 5, very simple. 
just understand when we are talking about the probability of a number that is that is, has two digit number so let's find one digit number and two digit number count when you have find when you have to find the probability of the number with a perfect square so we can find the perfect square and non perfect square number count when you have to find the probability of the number d by 5 so let's find the count of number d by 5 and the count of this number not d by 5 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again